image encryption and decryption using chaotic key sequence generated by sequence of logistic map and sequence of states of linear feedback shift register, written by Rohith S. K. N. Hari Bhatt, A. Nandini Sharma, published in Advances in Electronics, Computers and Communications, 2014 on 10th to 11th October, on pages 1 to 6. In this video, we will be discussing about a paper that talks about a method to encrypt grayscale images. We will be covering two basic steps the creation of an encryption key, and the encryption of the image file itself using the aforementioned key. Firstly, let's talk about an image. An image can be thought of as a rectangle, and its area is made up of very small squares. These squares are what we call pixels. For each pixel, however, there can be many shades of grey. This is determined by how detailed the image is. For example, if it is an 8-bit grayscale image, there will be 2 to the power of 8, or 256 shades of grey that can be represented in each pixel. Hence, the larger the number of bits, the more shades of grey that can be represented in each pixel, hence a better detailed image. Now suppose we were to encrypt this 8-bit grayscale image. To do that, we will require an encryption key. This can be thought of as a mask to cover the image to prevent people from seeing what it actually is. To do this, we make use of the logistic map function. This function can create a pseudo-random sequence using the following equation. Now let's plot a graph of this function. The x-axis r is a parameter we can choose from 2 to 4. It can be observed that the output will lie between 0 and 1 as shown on the y-axis. We will choose r equals to 3.99 which lies here on the x-axis. This will result in a highly random sequence. Until now, we have a random sequence from the logistic map function. Let's call this sequence k1. The question is, how long should the sequence be? Since each number is used to encrypt each pixel, the length of the sequence should match the number of pixels which is m times n. Now we will try to convert this into an 8-bit binary by multiplying each number in k1 with 255 and round to the nearest integer. This sequence will be able to represent all 256 shapes. Next, we convert each number in the sequence to an 8-bit binary number. We will keep this k1 sequence and go to the next step. In the next step, we will be creating another sequence, but before that, let's talk about an operation called ZOR. We can think of ZOR as an arithmetic operation that when two inputs of either 1 or 0 is given, a certain output will be produced. We will be using this operation data between the two sequences created. The Linear Feedback Shift Register, or LFSR, is another way to find a random sequence. First, we have an initial value called the seed. The seed is the first number in this sequence. When this is put into the registers, some will be tapped into a ZOR gate to produce a digit. This digit is put into the LSV and the rest are shifted left. The number is changed and this is used as the second number in the sequence. The process repeats to form another sequence which we call K2. Now we have the sequence K1 from, from the logistic map function and K2 from the linear feedback shift register. Sequences K1 and K2 are zored together in a bitwise manner to form our key. We will convert each pixel of the image to a number according to the shape between 0 to 255. Then we convert this number into 8-bit binary. We call this sequence P. With sequences key and P, we can encrypt the image by zoring both sequences together to produce P prime sequence. P prime is converted back to produce an encrypted image. Now let's look at how the encrypted image looks like. Here is the original image and here is the encrypted image. Decryption with the wrong key results in a completely different image. This LFSR method provides cryptographically better results as compared to methods that encrypt using the logistic map scheme. The end result is that the original and encrypted image is highly uncorrelated and perceptually different. This method provides more security. This project is done by Ong, Chester, Fengwei, Nicholas, Jonathan and Faith.